Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. And today I'm doing a movie review. Well, I hope you're all ready because we're about to jump inside of a pizzeria and grab a slice of pizza. Yes, it's time to review Five Nights at Freddy's. I have been waiting eight whole years for this movie to release. This was originally announced in 2015. It's been so long since Five Nights at Freddy's was announced and it came out here in the UK on the 25th of October 2023. So it came a little bit earlier than the US. The US have had their official release of Five Nights at Freddy's today and obviously, obviously I decided to watch it today. Now, let's get started with the review. The review was absent from me, absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed actually watching it. It was very, very tense. Uh, some thrilling moments in there. Not really jump scary. I thought I would have seen a couple jump scares possibly pop in there. But yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good, actually. I really enjoyed it. it was such a good movie. I don't know why. This is underrated so far from the UK, but yeah, apparently it's so underrated and I don't believe that. It's a bad idea that it's underrated because it was actually really good watching it for the first ever time on the big screen as a mover. Now, when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, I have played the games and I've, you know, I know about the books as well and I've seen a whole bunch of videos like, you know, as you do. In fact, actually, one of the YouTube content creators, Matt Pat, aka Game Theorist, was actually in the movie as a guy inside of a cafe, you know, was working at a cafe. Of course, we got to see Josh Hutcherson as Mike Schmidt, the lead security guard of the original game. We also got to see uh, Piper Rubio as Abby, Schmidt's sister. We also got to see a whole bunch of other things as well. Obviously, Corey Kenshin was in there, obviously, as the taxi driver. We didn't really get to see much of the employee of the month board. We only got to see that, like, once. And it was, like, very quick, so it was hard to see who was actually on there. I already know who's on there because it was all picked out from Dorco. Because uh, Dorco was actually in the uh, <laughs> Employee of the Month uh, collection and stuff. A few YouTubers were actually on there, like uh, not just Dorco, but we also had 8 Bit Ryan, uh, Fusion, Z Gamer, a whole bunch of other ones as well. And that happened, yeah, there was an awful lot of very interesting stuff. Lots of secrets and Easter eggs hidden there at some point. Probably won't be able to pick them up all in one go, so I might have to go again and watch it just so I can pick up some more Easter eggs and secrets that I didn't get to see the first time. As of the animatronics, the design of the animatronics, oh my gosh, they are incredible. Like, Chica, amazing. Bonnie looks the best. Freddy, hell yes. Foxy is my most favourite out of the designs for the animatronics, easily. Foxy just looks so good. Obviously, being a huge Five Nights at Freddy's fan, uh, for me, is, like, really cool. Obviously, the movie is out now, and in fact, it won't be long until we get the announcement from Steel Wool Studios of when Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted Part 2 comes out. Yeah, which I'm waiting to see next, because <laughs> that'll pop up next. Yeah, but overall, the movie was absolutely incredible. Incredible, very thrilling. I loved obviously having to see Matthew Lillard as William Afton, the lead killer of the franchise. There was so much in there, so incredible, absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed every second of the movie. The fact that they hid even a few references from some of the books as well. Like there was one scene where Abby was hidden behind one of the arcade games. In fact, actually, that was a reference to Five Nights at Freddy's The Silver Eyes, the first book, which had, obviously, 
obviously in the book it was Charlie hiding behind the arcade game and Foxy was on patrol around the place. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of references to some of the games and other books as well. And obviously they've kept it open for a new sequel. Now there was one character I wasn't expecting to actually see within there and that was a little tiny doll of Balloon Boy that every at certain times ended up being like a full size Balloon Boy. So I'm hoping to see a bit more of Balloon Boy for the next uh, movie if they do one. Again as well I've got one prediction that they hopefully should bring in the toy animatronics next and focus the story kind of around about Five Nights at Freddy's 2, early Five Nights at Freddy's 3 range as well maybe, I don't know where they'll go next but yeah it was absolutely incredible to watch Five Nights at Freddy's come out and I'm totally excited that I did watch it today, it was just perfect. For me I would have to rate it a solid Eight and a half out of ten. Pretty good. Definitely a good one. Definitely worth the watch as well. I can't believe it's underrated. I mean, 27% Rotten Tomatoes when I checked this morning. Nah. More like 44% maybe? Somewhat 40 or 50% something around about there. There you go. That is my review of Five Nights at Freddy's. Go ahead and watch it. Oh wait, plus you have to be 15 or over to watch it. 